we started thinking about uprising, about revenge, and I think that kept us going. Although it was a silly thought, but you know, that gave us the courage to survive, to do, because we planned, we planned. The plans weren't worth it, maybe in the beginning, five cents, but we planned, and we saw ourselves outside, and we saw all the Nazis killed, and this kept us going. And every day in 1943, probably in February or when, Leon Fellhandler was picked out from a transport and brought in. We were cousins by marriage. And after we told him what's going on, everybody who came in or they took him out, if they killed ten from us, they picked out another ten from the next transport. And we told him, and he said, we have to escape. And we asked how. He said, there must be a way, and we're going to ex escape. And we tried, started planning. And going to a meeting, which only a few went, because you had to be very careful, and coming back, you felt like you're doing something. You're planning something. You're trying something. If you'll succeed, it would be wonderful. If not, you'll get a bullet in the back. It's better than going to the gas chambers. I promise myself I'll never go to the gas chamber. I'll start running, I'll start doing. They have to waste the bullet on me. And we started organizing and talking and it, it kept us alive again, you know, that maybe we'll be able to take revenge for all those who cannot, who already burned there. And, and, and we promised ourselves, it didn't matter if we'll survive or not, but just do something. Not that the world shouldn't say the Jews went like, like sheep to the slaughter. It's not true. We needed that encouragement, and they gave us. And they said, your plan is good, and it's going to work, and it has to work, and we have to try. We don't have what to lose. And we decided the date when Wagner left, and the, the date was original the 13th of October, and that day we all got ready, ready. Put on two, two sweaters and, and my boots I put on for the first time again, and I got dressed with the coat and with the kerchief, and you, you know, you didn't take no luggage with you. You didn't know where you're going anyway if you'll make it. And then some unit from military Gestapo came to the camp never used to come on that day, and we thought somebody maybe slipped out. But they left, and the next day exactly the plan was at 4 o'clock should start. Everybody has to kill his, his assessment and his guard at his place of work. And it started working, and I was like a messenger guru going here. Four I killed and five I killed, just throwing signals, not talking. But we couldn't find friends. And we thought, although the electric wire was cut, the telephone wire was cut, we were afraid that somehow he got out on the outside and, and went for help. And this was before decided, in case anything goes wrong, everybody on his own. And whoever, wherever one can run or wherever one can jump should go. Maybe one will survive and will be able to tell the world. And we assembled like in a normal day, and then Sasha and Leon, the organizers, went up at the table and they said, we can't find friends or something. Everybody on his own.
But a lot of people were panicky right away. A lot of people didn't want to go, they gave up. And those who felt they want to try just ran in all directions. I saw that somebody put a stepladder behind a uh, carpet in a shop and that people were climbing out. And I want to explain that this was all split seconds. And I just jumped up that stepladder. And as I was on top, I noticed there a lot of bodies already undermined. Some people went before me. I got a bullet shot from the tower right here, and I fell down. As I fell down, I was so much aware, and the will to live was so great, there's no measurements to it, that I started hopping on dead bodies, and soon I reached the woods. We were in the woods. It, it was, I felt I did it. I made it. For all those, I just looked back to the fire. The fire was still burning, and to the people in the back. And I figured, I did it for you. We took revenge. What's going to happen from now on? It's a different story, because the war was still on. And I had to survive another nine months.